and welcome to the watch mission. Uh, today we're going to review uh, an unboxing of uh, a couple of different watches. Actually, we'll, we'll just start today with one of the watches, but uh, I received a box from uh, Towson Watch Company, which is actually one of the oldest American watch companies in existence today. Um, I, I have to admit, I, I, I did not hear of them before. Um, I just happened to, to run across them on Instagram and ended up talking to uh, uh, the new president, Spencer, and it was a great conversation about the history of the company and what he aims to do with it. They've got a great history. Uh, they've got some watchmakers that have been there for just many, many years. Uh, and they used to do custom uh, pieces only, kind of bespoke pieces, but now they have a kind of a limited run of, of three different series of watches, the, the Masterpiece, the Limited, and the Mission series. And uh, they, they only limit each one of these to in between 50 and 100 pieces, which is really nice. So that way, you know, they're not kind of flooding the market with the same thing that's out there all the time. So we get to the unboxing here. Uh, so uh, I'll speed through this part here real quick. You can see there's there's two different uh, uh, boxes in here. Uh, both of these watches are packaged the same way in a really, really beautiful manner. Just incredible uh, wood finishing on these boxes. Very heavy, very solid. Uh, and then, you know, you're, you're presented with just a fantastic look here. So this is the mission. Uh, 250 and uh, it is at 38 millimeters it's a mechanical uh, chronograph and uh, it's uh, got sapphire on both the uh, the, the front crystal and the, the uh, see-through crystal in, on the back uh, water resistant up to 50 meters. Uh, it is kind of a nautical inspired watch for kind of from the sailing uh, the sailing era. Uh, I took this watch with me up to uh, Boston uh, for the head of the Charles regatta and it just fit in so perfectly up there being around all the Ivy League schools. I mean if if you have a you know a son or daughter or someone graduating from you know from the East Coast is this is just such an East Coast watch. I, I I don't know how else to explain it. It just kind of fits in. It's certainly if you're in the, the Ivy League universities there. Uh, so this watch on wrist it is just fantastic. And what really surprised me the most about it was, was the dial. There are times when this dial looks ice white. And there are other times when it just shimmers this really beautiful gold. It's nowhere close to a yellow. It's, a, it's, a, it's more of a champagne or a gold. And you'll see throughout some of these videos and pictures how it just changes. And it seems to change either with the, you know, obviously the lighting or with what you're wearing, kind of like how some people's eyes look blue or green, depending on what they wear. This just happens to change as you go. So just a little more information on the movement. It is a 25 joule automatic chronograph. Uh, as I said, it's Valjoule uh, 7750. Uh, it's adjusted to five positions, uh, 46 hour power reserve. Uh, it, these watches come with uh, two straps, so a brown leather strap uh, like you see on, on this one, as well as a black strap. And the movement is a uh, Valjoux, uh, ETA Valjoux uh, 7750. Uh, that's, that's been kind of customized and, and decorated by the watchmakers here, and it's just beautiful to look at. I mean, everyone I show this watch to is just kind of stunned uh, by the look of it here. So uh, at, at under $2,000 uh, for this kind of a movement and this kind of uh, exclusivity, you know, being under 100 pieces, this this one here is number 52, I believe. Uh, it's, it's nice to have something that is so unique, so well built, has a history. And just like I've said in my other videos, uh, the, the, the way that you can kind of tell a story about where this watch came from, it's American made, uh, you know, it's, it's got, uh, it's got a history behind it, uh, that, that you're, you kind of want to be a part of, right? You kind of want to, you kind of want to link into a, a company like this and, and help support them because of the quality that they make and you just want to make sure that they stick around. So as you can see, the, the polish, the finish 
uh, on these watches. It, it's they're phenomenal. Uh, it's got kind of a coin bezel to it as well, which I I, I really love. Uh, the the custom decoration that the watchmakers put on this is it's just phenomenal. And that on the dial, how it has you know the logo, which actually looks like a crest, uh, is kind of what I was saying earlier about kind of the fitting in with the East Coast Ivy League stuff. It just it, it, it just felt so good to have that on. And I can't tell you how many times someone just took a, either a double look or just flat out said, what, what, you know, what do you have there? And then they wanted to know more about it. So, uh, you know, it's, it, it is something that, that will start a conversation for sure. And just going through the dials here, uh, the top dial is your minute counter on the chronograph. Uh, the bottom is going to be your hours, and then the, uh, the number 10 there on the left is going to be your seconds. When you take a look at their site, um, you'll you'll really see some unique pieces, and that's what I like most about them, right? You're, you're not going to mistake this for a Rolex or a, uh, an, an Omega or a, a Longchamps. There is no question they've got their own personality, their own design, and I absolutely love it. Um, the, the GMT, you know, when, when you take a look at that one on the site, if someone told you what colors they were going to put on a dial and just told you about it without seeing it, you'd think uh, that's not going to work. And it works perfectly. I mean, they, they, they really do an amazing job with being able to put you know, the right combination together. I, I can't thank uh, Spencer enough for you know, allowing me time with this watch again I you know I travel with it uh, I you know wore it while you know, I'm a photographer so I was you know shooting pictures uh, at, at the Brigada so I had this on for three days straight and as far as timing is concerned you know if I'm comparing it to my uh, my iPhone or, or however we're kind of measuring time these days uh, it, it was spot on it, it didn't miss a beat but yeah, I'd love to hear your comments and what you guys think of uh, of Towson I am completely impressed right I've, I've had a lot of different watches on wrists as far as this price range is concerned and it's a tough price range to be in right you've got uh, a ton of Oris, Longines, uh, you know Tag, you got you got a million different things out there at this price range so these guys have their work cut out for them as far as you know staying in the market and they're doing a great job because I think they've got their own distinct personality they've got their own style and uh, I I have no doubt that they're going to stick to that. The fact that they make such limited runs uh, and, and kind of keep things fresh, you know, year after year is also going to be in their favor as well. So I, I hope they stay exactly like they are, the same size they are, they, they have limited runs. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan and, uh, you know, thanks again to uh, Spencer and the Towson company for uh, letting me review. So again, yeah, go check out the website, uh, read about the history of the company, or, you know, read about where they came from, uh, the, the, the staff they have there, and 
if you're in you know the Baltimore area or anywhere on the East Coast, it's probably worth a drive to go take a look at this shop. I am positive Spencer would give anybody a tour that wanted to. I mean, he was so passionate about uh, the company, uh, you know, what their future is, what they're going to do. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for the next video because I'll be reviewing uh, the Pride too as well.